gorgeous, yo, I can't afford this I'm still on the floor, bless, I know that I'm off and feel the distortion Ain't an abortion, what I call forth and I'm dunking like Jordan I've been absorbing the energy found If it is bad, then I turn it around What's up, y'all? Nigel here Um, you know, it's funny, like, the other day, like, yesterday I realized I like wearing my hat backwards because I know it just looks, and now I have, like, my hair set really long and curly Make sure now, like, I can actually, like, have hair coming off the side, so I don't know, it's a good look. I'm big getting into fashion and stuff like that. And like during this quarantine, people keep messaging me, so I just wanna see who's talking. Um, I've been doing this quarantine, me and my brother been doing like 200 sit-ups a night and then like 50 or 100 push-ups. So just trying to be productive and have fun. Like just, you gotta do something, you know I mean? I, the only thing I've been doing lately is I take online classes. And I hate every minute of it. Online is ass. I don't care what nobody say that shit is just, some of these professors don't know how to use a computer. I'm not gonna go into it, so that's not for me. And then I've been working, so getting that dough. Um, I dropped an EP about a month ago. It's crazy, like time's flying by, I can't even keep up no more. Um, it's called Chasing a High, and I promoted one of the songs on Instagram. The biggest song is called Turn On Self Hate. Hit like 20,000 views. <laughs> Yeah, I hate myself and everything that I do I swear I ain't feeling better unless I'm talking to you And see, that's the part I hate cause everyday I feel blue I wish I had friends, money, and a girl to call boo Now, I ain't no bitch, I did it, it's all on my own If you that listen, understand, understand them, I don't See, I've never felt welcome, I'm just finding my home Find a home somewhere up, somewhere up in your arms After promoting it for like a month And that's pretty good for me because I've never had I mean, I think it surpassed on SoundCloud, it surpassed Loner. Loner had like 6,000 streams, and this song has 15.5K. So that was a huge milestone for me. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that this process of making music has been a continuous growth and evolution and just getting better and striving to just see what works. So I was really excited about that. Um, aside from that, I've been getting into fashion as well. I wanted to some photos. I had a fit yesterday that like, if I was a cartoon character or an anime character, that would be my go-to fit. Like, So that was one of them. And then me and my brother have been watching a lot of Hunter Hunter. Thank God I said Hunter Hunter and not Hunter X Hunter because you know I always mess it up. But I like that show a lot. It's pretty good. Been trying to skateboard, you know, do a little something here and there. I'm not gonna answer any clips where I'm mean, I could ride the board, pause. I could like stay on the board and it's you know I'm I'm decent. Um that Ollie though, that's gonna need some work. So I'll upload videos of that when I get good at it. And I just dropped like a visual, literally like either today or tomorrow by the time you see this of like some aesthetic type edits with my song high. And I have fun with that. And honestly, I just been trying to think outside the box, be productive. I was going to say comment below how have you guys been handling this quarantine. Hope you guys and your family are safe, you and your friends. Um, it's not easy. I understand everyone's situation is very different and it's kind of scary. Also comment, what are some things that you miss? Like for me... I was already a house body, so I wasn't going out like that anyway. Like, I'm a pretty normal person, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Like, I'm, I, I go to school, I go to work, I handle my business, and when I have some free time, I like to do this music thing, and or entertainment, or media, or whatever you want to call it. I like to do that in hopes that I can make something out of it some way, somehow, you know what I mean? But now that I've been in the house for, like, I don't know, three months or however, day, day 800 of quarantine, whatever you want to call it, I'm ready to get out. I'm ready to... Truth be told, only reason why I'm gonna go out is because I tried talking to someone and like, it'd be nice to meet them, but it's like I can't meet them because of this quarantine shit. And um, I'm not gonna go down that, but I'm just saying that's one of the main reasons that kind of spiked my like, shit, I want this shit to be over, but we'll see. Um, I always space out because I don't ever plan the script for a video. I just kind of go with whatever I want to say. So yeah. If you guys have any, um, I'll probably get edited that out. Um, if you guys don't mind, please follow me on Instagram at Nigel underscore 16. I do content other than there, like question of the day, new music snippets. Right now, I feel kind of creatively slumped, and it's been kind of a, a journey of trying to figure out what I'm going to do next, but I would appreciate you guys if you could follow me on there, me the world, and... Follow me on SoundCloud, on Spotify. I mean, it's crazy. Like, Eternal Self Hate already has 1,600 or something streams. I don't know. 
it's just like I have a long way to go to get to where I want to be. But at the same time, I had a tweet. Follow me on Twitter as well. So I'm just gonna plug everything at that boy Nigel. I'm gonna probably put that up somewhere on the screen. But I just basically been learning that instead of dwelling on the past, don't like live in the present. Don't instead of like the best thing I could have ever learned. This is how I worded the tweet. But the best thing I could have ever learned was to stop dwelling on the past, live in the present, and stop fretting over the future. So what I'm saying is, because right now we have no idea when we're gonna get a vaccine or a cure and people can say when things go back to normal and it's like i don't think every i don't think anything will ever will be normal to so to speak you know what i mean it's gonna be a minute before we get that that vibe of what normal is so but i'm not trying to be a pessimist i believe that we'll get to where we want to be and everything else on the street consistent we wait pray for god first you know and i just hope everything works out i hope you guys are doing well talk to me i don't really know what to say it's kind of awkward that's why i don't like showing videos but i shit i mean what else am i gonna do so i appreciate y'all comment below and have a good day i'm out much if you ain't never had a fall i would rather off myself than say i didn't risk it all uh, uh, putting my life on the line right now